Hello dear students, today we are going to learn the third part of the chapter principles of inheritance and variation. In the previous class we have learned about monohybrid course and laws of inheritance extracted from it and also learn about incomplete dominance and co-dominance. The topic we are going to study now is about inheritance in two genes and chromosomal theory of inheritance. Inheritance in two genes is also known as dihybrid course. Dihybrid course. Dihybrid course is a genetical cross between individuals of a species considering the inheritance of contrasting pairs of two traits. Let us have an example of a cross dihybrid course. Let us use the genotypic symbols capital R for the dominant round shaft seat and small r for wrinkled seat shaft. Capital Y for dominant yellow seat color and a small y for recessive green seat color. The genotype of the parents can then be written as capital R, capital R, capital Y, capital Y and small r, small r, small y, small y. The cross between the two plants can be written down as uh, this figure showing the genotypes of the parent plants. The gametes capital R, capital Y and a small r, small y unite on fertilization to produce the F1 hybrid capital R, small r, capital Y, small y. When the F1 plant is self-hybridized, we can observe that 3 by 4 of F2 plants have yellow seeds and one by four half green the yellow and the green color are segregated in a three is to one ratio round and the wrinkle seeds have are also segregated in a three is to one ratio just like in a monohybrid course okay now let us have a little idea of polygenic inheritance it is the type of inheritance in which a trait is controlled by two or more genes. Such traits are called polygenic traits. Phenotype reflects contribution of its allele and is also influenced by the environment. Example of polygenic inheritance is human skin color. Human skin color is controlled by three genes A, B, and C. The dominant alleles are capital A, capital B, and a capital C, and the recessive alleles are small a, small b, small c. So we have six types of skin color. They are very dark or black, fairly dark, intermediate, fairly light, light, and very light. Very dark or black. Very dark has the dominant capital A, capital B, capital C. Fairly dark, one small letter LLE will be present in the genotype. Capital A, small a, capital B, capital B, capital C, capital C. Fairly dark. Next is intermediate. In intermediate, three capital letters and three small letters will be present in the genotype. Next is fairly light. In fairly light, two small letters will be present in the genotype. Next is the light. In this thread, four small letters will be present in the genotype. The last one is very light or white. All the six alleles will be small letter. Okay, now we have chromosomal theory of inheritance. Before we know what does the chromosomal theory of inheritance tells us about, let us find out the reasons of unrecognizing Mendel's laws of inheritance for a long period of time, or Mendel's work for a long period of time. Mendel published experiments on plant hybridization in fourth volume of Proceedings of Natural Science Society of Bern in 1866. His work remained unrecognized for a long period of time till 1900. The reasons were firstly communication was not so easy in those days 
and his work could not be widely published. Secondly, his concept of genes or factors, which is a stable unit that control the expression of threats and of the pair of alleles, which did not blend, was not accepted. Thirdly, his approach of using mathematics to explain biological phenomenon was new and unacceptable. Lastly, Mendel could not provide any physical proof for the existence of factors or genes. So now we have rediscovery of Mendel's principles of inheritance. In 1900, Hugo de Vries from Holland, Karl Korens from German, and Erich von Samark from Austria independently rediscovered Mendel's principles of inheritance. By this time, due to advancement in microscopy that were taking place, scientists were able to carefully observe cell division. This led to the discovery of chromosomes in the nucleus that appear to double and divide just before its cell division. You know, among these three scientists, Karl Korens was the scientist who formulated the laws of inheritance. Now let us come to the chromosome theory of inheritance. Walter Sutton and Theodore Boveri independently proposed the chromosomal theory of inheritance. The two workers found a close similarity between the transmission of hereditary traits and behavior of chromosomes while passing from one generation to the next through the agency of gametes. Sutton united the knowledge of chromosomal segregation with Mendelian principles and called it the chromosomal theory of inheritance. Okay, these are comparisons between the behavior of chromosomes and the genes. A is a gene. Capital B represents four chromosomes. This diagram represents chromosomal law of segregation. Here, two pairs of the chromosomes are present here. Pair of short chromosomes, pair of long chromosomes. They are segre segregated during gamete formation. Short chromosomes and long chromosomes are segregated during anaphase 1. And again in meiosis 2 and anaphase 2, the chromosomes are segregated. So each of these four cells get only one, only one chromosome of the pair. One long chromosome, one short chromosome. One long chromosome, one short chromosome. One long chromosome, one short chromosome. So this diagram explains about the law of segregation of chromosomes. Okay, this diagram shows chromosomal law of independent assortment. Two pairs of the chromosomes are present in the mother cell. Long yellow chromosome is with long orange chromosome. Green chromosome is uh, pair with red short chromosome. Segregation of pair of these long chromosomes is independently assorted with segregation of short chromosomes. Here, chromosome yellow long chromosome is assorted with green chromosome. Yellow long chromosome can also be assorted with short red chromosome. This orange long chromosome also can be assorted with green red chromosome. Thus, this diagram shows the chromosomal law of independent assortment. Okay, let us know the characteristic features of chromosomal theory of inheritance. Like the hereditary traits, the chromosomes retain their number, structure, and individuality throughout the life of an organism and from generation to generation. The two neither get lost nor mix off their behalf as units. Both chromosomes as well as genes occur in pairs in the 
somatic or diploid cells. The two alleles of a gene pair are located on homologous sites of homologous chromosomes. Both chromosomes as well as genes segregate at the time of gamete formation, such that only one of its pair is transmitted to a gamete. A gamete contains only one chromosome of a type and only one of the two alleles of a thread. The pair condition of both chromosomes as well as Mendelian factors is restored during fertilization. Thus, homologous chromosomes synapse during meiosis and then segregate independently into different cells, which establishes the quantitative basis for segregation and independent assortment of hereditary factors. Now let us have experimental verification of the chromosome theory of inheritance. You know, Thomas Hunt Morgan experimentally proved the chromosomal theory of inheritance. So he is known as father of experimental genetics. You know, Thomas Hunt Morgan selected fruit fly. Scientific name is Drosophila melanogaster for his experimental work. Okay, now let us know the reasons of selecting Drosophila melanogaster for his experiments. The reasons are Firstly, Drosophila can be reared easily in laboratory conditions. The lifespan of Drosophila melanogaster is very short as it lives for only two weeks. Thirdly, a single mating of Drosophila melanogaster could produce a large number of progeny flies. Drosophila melanogaster has many contrasting traits which are easily observable. Lastly, females are easily distinguishable from the males by larger body size and presence of ovipositor. Okay students, for today, let us do this much. I hope you have understood about the dihybrid cross, the laws extracted from dihybrid cross, chromosomal theory of inheritance. In next class, I will bring you linkage, recombination, and genetic disorders. Okay.